When considering becoming pregnant, one of the key recommendations is to begin taking folic acid. But why is it recommended? Why does our body need folic acid? In this video, we'll learn why we all need folic acid and why a higher amount is needed during pregnancy. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Graham Dersna. Welcome to Bite Size Medicine, your go-to channel for short, easy to understand videos about the common medical topics that matter to you. If you're new, make sure to subscribe, get involved in the comments, and check out the description below for links and resources. Let's get started. Pregnancy is very demanding on a pregnant person's body. They require enough nutrients and energy to provide for themselves and the changes they're undergoing and for the developing baby. Due to the key function that folic acid has in our cells, it is always recommended as a supplement so the pregnant person has enough. Let's learn about the role folic acid plays and what can happen if there is not enough during fetal development. So what is folic acid? Folic acid, or folate when we get it from food, is one of the vitamins in the vitamin B family. It is vitamin B9. Folate can be found in many foods, including leafy green vegetables, fruit, nuts, beans, meat, and eggs. Since it is so important, you would think that our body could store a lot of it and save it for later. And although our liver can store a small amount of folate, and there is some flowing in our blood to go to the cells, in general, folate is not stored in our body. This is because all B vitamins are water soluble, which means they dissolve in the blood. To help understand what dissolving is, think about pouring some sugar into a glass of water and stirring it. The sugar disappears because it has dissolved into the water. So because folate can do this in blood, it easily moves from our blood into our urine and is released or excreted from our body. In addition, our body cannot make folate, so we need to get it from our diet. Now let's talk about why our cells need it. Our cells are constantly dividing to replace old, damaged, and dead cells. In order to divide, a cell needs to grow and double everything inside of it so that when it does divide, both new cells have everything they need, which includes the DNA. Folate is required to make DNA. Therefore, without folate, our cells cannot double their DNA or divide. Folate deficiency, or not having enough folate, can cause several problems, including anemia, which is a low amount of red blood cells, since the cells in the bone marrow that make red blood cells can't divide, and this can lead to fatigue and weakness. Other symptoms include a painful swollen tongue called glossitis and diarrhea. Now let's connect this to pregnancy. Since there is a massive amount of cell replication and division occurring to go from one cell to a full grown baby and the pregnant person needs to maintain their own body too, it makes sense that a much larger amount of folate is required. If the pregnant person does not have enough folate, not only can they get the symptoms I just mentioned, the developing baby can get a neural tube defect. This is a type of birth defect with increasing levels of severity that affect the baby's spine and nervous system. Spina bifida is the most common but least severe, so the baby may not have any symptoms. But as severity increases, examples of symptoms include poor muscle coordination, leg weakness or paralysis, problems with controlling their bowels and bladder, and increased fluid in the skull. Neural tube defects occur early in fetal development, and many people don't even know they're pregnant at that time. This is why it's recommended to start folic acid supplements before becoming pregnant and throughout pregnancy. There are a lot of other recommendations when it comes to preparing for pregnancy and experiencing it. Consult your primary care provider, OBGYN doctor, or midwife to have your questions and concerns addressed so that you can have a healthy and successful pregnancy for yourself and for your baby. Before you go, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let me know if you enjoyed the video, learned something new, have any questions, 
have a personal experience in this area that you'd like to share, or have ideas for a future video. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time for another delicious bite of medicine.